Business valuations are useful to all businesses at any time. It gives you an idea as to what your business is worth. And if you consider it over time, you can determine if you're adding or destroying value in your business through your operations. It's also important if you're considering selling it or to establish partner ownership, taxation, or even business divorce proceedings. And so it's useful to have a tool that can easily give you up-to-date estimates of the valuation of your business. And that's what SIF does. So if you go to analyze valuations and you click dashboard, you get a view as to what the value of your business is. And this is based in, on the information that's in SIFT that comes from your underlying accounting software. So it can be up to date. So over here, you'll see there's various different methods of valuing your business. There's no perfect valuation for your business. Ultimately, the value will be determined on what someone is willing to pay. But in the absence of a sale deal, it's important to consider the various different um, standard methods of calculating your valuation and to determine based on their pros and cons and what's most relevant to your business, which is the best valuation. So in SIFT, we have the revenue multiple, the profit multiple, the EBITDA multiple, and the net asset value. And you'll see there's different valuations um, according to each of these methods. So you can go and understand how they're calculated and determine a value somewhere in between here for your business. So before we dig into more detail on each of these, let's just look at the power of this dashboard. So you get a graph and you have your calculation below and then you're able to save different valuations. So once you've saved them, they'll appear in this drop down and you'll see you, I've created a base valuation and a best case scenario valuation. And I could also create a worst case scenario valuation. And so this is useful because you can go and adjust and make certain adjustments to these valuations um, to get a more accurate valuation of what you think would happen. So perhaps you think your revenue is going to increase drastically in the future, you can go and adjust for that and make it a best case scenario. Or perhaps you're 